everyone welcome back to my channel if you're returning if you're new here my name is Tori and I am going to be doing a weekly plan with me and my Hobonichi cousin for the week of July the 31st through August the 6th so let's get started this is actually my birthday week um so I plan on using this birthday bears sticker sheet that I got from stationary pal and if you can hear some chomping in the background, my dog has decided he wants to chew his bone right behind me. So I apologize in advance for that. Um, and I'm also going to use um, somehow, some way, they don't really match, but I freaking love these uh, Leo horoscope emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. So yeah, and this is probably going to be a pretty quick one again because and this stuff is like washi material which I really vibe with I like that a lot um oh no but do I have to cut this out myself <gasps> y'all I don't see any cut lines do you I just was not even paying attention to that maybe it will be a long plan with me <laughs> because I did not even notice wow Okay, so could, yeah, I think it's like the whole sheet is just, yeah, I'm not a fan of the ones you gotta cut yourself. Y'all, I've had this since that stationary pal unboxing video and I never even noticed it. This isn't, oh my God, oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Well, while we're dealing with that reality, I'm going to lay down some washi. I, you know, there's something to be said. I feel like I do have a great attention to detail. Um, but I'm also very much a fly by the seat of my pants type person when it comes to things that I just like, I know will work. Um, and I, I think I had too much faith this time. <laughs> I think that's what happened there. So... You know, I don't know. Maybe I'll... I'm honestly debating on whether I even use them at this point. Because it would make sense. But do I want to do all that work? <laughs> um, when, you know... I guess I, I should. Since I'm laying down the washi that matches it as I'm talking through whether I should use it or not. Um, but yeah. So that was an interesting surprise. Oh, and that washi just ripped the paper. <sighs> but, so I am on vacation this week. So I have no work. None at all. So really, this is just going to be me framing out my week maybe. Laying some stickers down. I don't have that many plans. Um, and if you can also hear my creaky chair, I apologize. Um, but yeah, I don't have like... I mean, the biggest plans are going to be towards the end of the week. Um, and I'm actually filming this on Monday, so I'll fill out Monday. But, yeah, I, I have nothing to do but to relax. And I appreciate that because um, I worked this past weekend. So, I worked the 28th and the 29th. And I was helping some patrons um and normally like I don't know I just felt like their responses the level of joy that they had for the basic help they received kind of just reminded me of how burnt out I feel at my job um and so to see their reactions and be like, wow, you really had an impact on somebody and you didn't even like do anything. Or at least on my end, it wasn't doing anything revolutionary, but I mean, they were senior citizens. So um, one of them had like health issues and her hands were really shaky and working a computer just wasn't, uh, it wasn't a quick and easy task for her. And then another one was just, um, it was kind of like, I felt like she just needed somebody to be like, hey. 
But either way, like, both of their reactions were very much, like, when they received the help that I gave them, it was very, they're very exuberant about it, um, to use a, like, 10 cent word, I guess, but it just, I was really just trying to, like, get through the day and to have them just absolutely be so excited that I helped them was, like, wow, <laughs> um, I really am, um, because I wasn't thinking about it. I was just, like, trying to do what I needed to do, and then, I don't know if I'm making any sense with all of this, but it just, <sighs> when you are in a customer service job, especially like libraries where um, societies kind of turn social services into part of our job. Um, you don't really realize how much of an impact you have on a day to day until you have little moments like that. And then you realize how much you're just like trying to get through it. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but it was one of those moments where I was like, wow, okay. This is putting things in perspective for me. Um, so it was just like two older women who needed a little bit of patience and grace. And I am not normally a patient or a grace giving person. So it was pretty humbling to be like, okay, this was not that big a deal. And to them, it was a lot, but it's just like a reminder that like, hey, you can you can, you know, stretch your boundaries a little bit for the right reasons. Um, cause I feel like I've gotten to a point where I'm so burnt out. I'm in like survival mode and I'm just trying to protect my own peace. <laughs> and, um, a lot of the times I don't go out of my way. And I mean, I'm, is that kind of embarrassing to admit? Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like I'm doing the best I can most days. So I don't know. It was just like a weekend of work where I was just like, wow, okay. <laughs> um, and it kind of reminded me of like why I like my job um, and what about my job makes me feel like it's so worthwhile because as a librarian, you really are helping people um, survive, to be honest. Like people come into our library and they need like help with social security and help with IRS stuff and it's not like they're just you know you do have patrons who just kind of play around but most of them are like in a panic because something's happened and they need the help immediately and they're looking at you like you're gonna save them <laughs> it's like I can't actually do that um so and, you know, it does get to a point sometimes where people think you're their secretary and you have to kind of be like, that's, that's not what I'm here for. Um, and then they kind of get frustrated with you because you set those boundaries and don't allow them to pass them. But when you do it for the right reasons and you do help people, it's kind of like, duh, that's what, that's what this is all about. But you forget about it because you're just so burnt out like I said so um but yeah I'm kind of glad I decided to to do the sticker sticker cutting it's not I, I I feel like it's a good um I don't know like you can kind of customize it I'm finding a bright side here <laughs> uh but yeah so that was my weekend and then I took this week off because it's my birthday week and I do it usually every year because it's at the end of summer programming for our library and usually, for example, our school systems have already started back. Um, they started back in early July, not early July, I'm sorry. They started back last week because they actually went to a quarterly system after all of the COVID um, schooling and stuff. I think the general consensus was like a um, I guess like a schedule where the kids would be in school most of the time and they'd get like more significant breaks in between. So they still get a summer break, but it's just not as long. And, um, 
they get like two weeks in October off and then they get two weeks in the spring off but they they go to school earlier my dogs are about to bark because I think my father-in-law is coming home no he's leaving okay they're probably about to bark wow okay nobody barked wow growth <laughs> um but so they uh they're essentially going to school earlier and getting out later but the trade-off with that is that they get more breaks in between and not every school like it's just our um I don't know if the city schools are doing it I know the county schools are but that's just what they decided to do and that's not I haven't seen anybody else go to that kind of schedule around us but whatever works for them you know kind of feel tad bad for the teachers though I feel like the teachers don't get a big enough break that way but Mississippi did just raise the teaching pay um to like 45 a year and that's huge for teachers and I'm really glad that they did that they didn't just do it I think they did it in 2019 or 2020 so um just to have that acknowledgement of an educator being worthy of the pay um was, it's validating it's not nearly as enough enough as they should get paid still but just to have something is um some kind of acknowledgement I feel like is appreciated so but yeah so because the schools went back there's not gonna be I don't know I just kind of take this time to take a break and work on other stuff that I put on the back burner all year um, for example, I've been working on some professional development stuff that I haven't really focused on because I've just trying to, I've been trying to do programs. So I'm taking pretty much most of August off of like doing library programs um, and just kind of using the time as a reset and then we'll come back with like a soft program starting again towards the end of August. Um, I'm work-wise, I'm only taking uh, this week off, but like my main job is to provide library programs. So that's what I mean when I'm like, I'm taking a break is just that my, <laughs> my main responsibilities are on pause. And I'm grateful for a job that lets me do that because it is nice to be able to take a breath. So I think I'm gonna just keep the stars with this little guy. I don't wanna have to like create another sticker there. Um, but yeah, and then today, since this is my first day on vacation, I had to go to the town over from us. Like we live on the, pretty much on the state line. And so, I'm able to go to another area because I had to get my ring cleaned to keep my warranty on my wedding ring. So, well, fun fact, this is actually my engagement ring. <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry. This is actually like my wedding ring. Um, and then this we bought later after we got married because we didn't get engaged. We just got married. Like we went from dating to married and it was... A lot of people thought I was pregnant. <laughs> um, I was not. So it was just like one of those things where we knew we wanted to be together. And what was the point of waiting, you know? Because we were long distance for the first year of our marriage anyways. Because I was finishing up graduate school. So, um, yeah. But, uh. So I had to go get my ring cleaned and then I went to a bookstore, I grabbed some quick food and now I'm back. I'm doing this. And then yesterday I made, um, like I made a, it wasn't really barbecue, it was like pulled pork. 
is what I would say it was. And I, I just pulled the recipe offline and it was like zesty pulled pork was the recipe or something. And it was like a pork butt that you put in the crock pot on high for like five hours. So I dropped it in the crock pot yesterday, which was Sunday at like noon and let it just kind of sit. And I did drain out the grease like three times. Um, and we ended up having like a pulled pork situation for dinner and it was so good. I don't know what it is about like crock pot meals that I'm just, well, I do know our oven is broken right now. So I'm having to like find other appliances to use, <laughs> um, while we wait to get it fixed. But the, it was so good and I thought it was going to be pretty dry, but um, no, it was pretty moist and I didn't put a lot of like, I'd say a cup of water every time and it was just, um, it used, what did it use? It was like brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, and red pepper flakes, some salt, and then pepper. That was the basically the whole seasoning. Like it wasn't some... Uh, and that's why I say, like, it's probably not barbecue because it wasn't an intense affair, you know? It was just, like, put this stuff in there and you're good to go. And I basically got to walk away from it, so it was really good. Um, if anybody's interested, I mean, I know some people don't eat meat, but if you are interested in the recipe, I can share it in the comments. Uh, we had that with some like uh king's hawaiian buns and it was delicious i literally inhaled my sandwich <laughs> um so okay i want to put some more here and then maybe some down here because last week i wasn't i don't know i was pretty much the last thing that i did every day was pretty much until like 12 o'clock in the morning so um I didn't really add anything or like draw an arrow or anything so I'm thinking I could put some more down here and then maybe do some stuff over here because my week is less um strict with what I need to do and then I'm thinking I'll do since there's three bears and I usually track three habits, I think I'll do that. And then I can do highlights with, but are they gonna be too big? I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then I was thinking highlights, I would do it with like a cupcake. We'll see, so. Yeah, I hope everybody's week last week went well. It is so hot here. Um, in, <laughs> in the town that I went to to get my ring clean today, I looked over as I was passing by a church and it said, too hot to keep changing sign, sin bad, Jesus inside. And I'm <laughs> I was cracking up. I was like, oh my goodness, that's so funny. Um, because yeah, even, even the church folk don't want to be going outside right now. Like, let's just stay inside. Um, it's just too much. Like, it has been straight 98, 96, pretty much all last week. It will be the same this week. Um, I love summer, don't get me wrong, but I think as I've gotten older, I think the reason I love it has more to do with, like, the nostalgia of having summer off as a kid. Um, and when you don't have summer off as an adult anymore, you're just kind of like, what is this season and why is it here? It is not fun <laughs> um, because when you're an adult in summer and you're just like trying to mind your business and it's so freaking hot and you you're just like why <laughs> it feels it feels unconsensual is what it feels um, and so I do like summer because it is my birthday season but I, I don't think um, I like it as much as I used to because <laughs> as a kid I used to think it was so magical to have the 
summer off and be running around in the heat with all my friends outside and not even caring. And now I'm like, you would have to pay me at least $20 to do anything serious labor outdoors right now. Like you really would. Um, even like maintaining my own yard work outside. No, that's, that's not for me. That's not my ministry. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's how I feel now. Um, but I do be planning to sit in my little kiddie pool this week while I'm on vacation. Gonna stick the water hose in the kiddie pool and try to get some sun on my legs because I am so pasty. So we'll see how that goes for me don't know if I'll be very successful. Maybe I won't go outside at all, but that's the goal. I don't know if it'll happen, but, um, that's what I hope to do. And then I really like my biggest goal this week is just to stay on top of my Instagram account for books, which shameless plug, I will put here if you would like to follow. And I want to stay, obviously, on top of content here. And then I just want to do, like, I want to get through some reading, you know? I have a lot of books I want to read. And what better time to do it than a week off of work? Um, so, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really just the only thing I have that I want to really focus on. So, let's see. Put you, oh, his ear... His ear is folded. And I think I got coffee on this, which has aesthetic as that sounds, it doesn't look as cute. <laughs> so, um, and by coffee on this, I mean like on my Hobonichi. So, I'm like, what is this mysterious stain? It's not usually a good thing. So, all right, do the cupcake. And then I think I'll keep this like strip of dots together because you can't really tell that it's kind of wonkily cut out unless you look really closely at it. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. This is like, uh, do you see this? This is so tiny. It's like surgery. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. <sighs> okay. Now that I've talked y'all's ears off and not really gotten much done, I'm going to finish putting these stickers down and I will be right back. So I got everything down except for this guy because I feel like, well, apparently not. I just realized I have this one. <laughs> I'll put that one there. Um, but I, I saved this one out because I feel like I could use it for Happy Mail or something on a daily page. Um, it just, I don't know, where the rest of these have like confetti around them or something like that. I feel like he doesn't, he can go elsewhere, you know, like he's more versatile, 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 however you want to say it. So yeah, I'm really excited that, like, I don't know if I'm necessarily excited about my birthday, but it feels like the month is going to be really exciting in general because of the fact that Hovenichi is going to be releasing their stuff. Um, there's the Coffee Monsters Co. sale, which I could probably write in here, um, because her birthday is two days, two days after mine. And then there's, um, 
I don't know, I just feel like it's a really good month for like stationary people <laughs> and planner people who enjoy the hobby. So I do want to put this little lion down because I just like him. He's really cute. Um, but yeah, so this is how I've been kind of thinking this spread would look. And if this stuff hadn't been washi paper, I would have just given up. Um, but because it was like washi material, I feel like it was a lot easier to manipulate. And I got over the fact that it was going to be kind of a pain in the butt to cut it out. So these are going to be the habits. And I'm thinking what I'll do is dots for the habits um, because I didn't leave myself a lot of room here. So <sighs> we'll do medicine here. I'll keep the same habits, but I'm not going to be as strict this week because like I said, vacay, you know, and then I have the sig clean color dot in the color splash so i i personally not to do my own horn but i feel like that was a genius solution to the limited space and that comes from cindy gwintert baldo um her channel she does that in like her moxie life habits that's how she tracks them and she just does a dot so it's not my own idea and I'm sure a lot of other people do it too and then I don't think I'm gonna do days because it's all gonna kind of run together since I'm not working but yeah um and then this is the pilot precise in point four, I think with the needle tip and I'm really digging it digging it a lot so all that I have left that I wanted to put down was um vacation and some sales like the uh the coffee monsters co sale this is like the only vacation sticker i have left because i used them in my mental health uh planner set up too just to kind of like note that for when i'm going back and reflecting on the week because it it's i can guarantee that it's going to be like why was this week such a good week and you'll be like oh because i didn't have to leave my house <laughs> so um just looking at uh I think I'll just put it across here and then I do actually have a bill due on the fifth and I think the second so I want to do something I think I have like one more of the yeah last one of these so I'll just go ahead and use it up um, to get it off the sheet. Let's see. I'll put you right there. I like that right there because his face doesn't look super happy about it, you know? Because <laughs> neither am I, dude. But that is capitalism. All right, and then I have another one due on the 5th. Um, let's see. I'm pretty proud of how much I'm getting through these stickers. It doesn't, I don't know if to, on your end it looks like I'm getting through them, but I am doing it. So, okay. Trying to find, trying to find... Not, oh, well, that's not, I mean, Thursday is going to be a payday, so we could put that there, and put that there, and then, ah, we'll put this one over on Friday, or Saturday, I'm sorry, um, that's going to be put it right there. Then um oh I wanted to put in that the Coffee Monsters Co sale. I think it starts on my no, it's the sixth through the ninth, I think. 
I'm just going to put it on Helen's birthday so I can remember. <laughs> sale okay and then and then I'll just um kind of put in what I did today which wasn't much at all um but I'll still write it in because you know it's officially the memory keeper situation so I don't feel um pressured to like keep it very on the hour um so I definitely slept in <laughs> and then I had some breakfast which this is perfect for because I had lucky charms for breakfast so <laughs> um where is the haha -ha. okay I have a sticker for that it's so niche and specific um but I did. I had lucky charms for breakfast. Did y'all hear Waffles just make the loudest sigh? Like he acted like he has been paying bills around here. Alright, um, and then I had to go to get my ring clean so I want to do the there's like a run errands yeah I thought there was another one is there two of them run errands there but I didn't get coffee not that that matters but I'll still just put it in with that one so run errands and I think I want to layer it with do that because I still haven't used some of this kit from the Coffee Monsters Co. So do this one. Then we'll do this one. This one. Okay. All right, so that's been my day, basically. Um, maybe I'll put in that right here. All right, so that is my week. And I hope you all have a great week. I hope to have a really good week because I just plan on staying at home and um, pretty much just reading my life away. I am doing this last minute. I don't know why I'm like this, but I am. So, again, have a great week. I love to speak with y'all in the comments below if you have any questions or do you just want to talk. And I appreciate you if you've made it this far. I hope you'll consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you're not already to help me grow and to join this little community that we're creating and i'll see you in the next video bye